A few of these among the set. Paimon's not sure what Paimon. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people... Uh-huh! It's because you're not from this world to begin with! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom! Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of... So perhaps because you got... There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign.
you got from the Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous! Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought... Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah. Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh. What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thing. Let's go take a closer look. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get up! <laughs> May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain it. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. 
doesn't sound like a local name. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sight. It's not far from here. I'll escort you. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apology. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius?